New Jersey will be one of the few states holding a gubernatorial election this November. For a first-hand look at how the race is going, let's bring in New Jersey Republican nominee for Governor Jack Cettarelli. Welcome. Mike, it's great to be with you. And full disclosure, I am from Westfield, New Jersey, and a proud Rutgers alum, so that probably means New Jersey politics runs through my blood. Exit 135, I know, Mike. <laughs> All right, so New Jersey has a million more Democrats registered than Republicans. Um, how do you overcome what could be a simple math problem? Well, there may be more Democrats than Republicans, but they're not stupid. Phil Murphy's record has failed us, but know this. Over the last four decades, Republicans have won six of the last 10 gubernatorial elections in this state. So when it comes to gubernatorial elections, we're really a purple state with a tint of red. As a Jersey boy, I know there's a whole lot of heartburn about high taxes in the Garden State. Do you see a path of potentially being able to provide some tax relief to your voters? Absolutely, Mike. I'm an MBA CPA and a two-time successful business owner here in New Jersey. I've employed fellow New Jerseyans. That's not something Phil Murphy can say. And I know exactly what needs to be done to lower our property taxes and exactly what needs to be done to our tax code to make New Jersey a better place to do business so we can create more jobs. By the way, those are two things Phil Murphy never talks about, our property tax crisis and the fact that New Jersey is the worst place in the nation in which to do business. As a dad, I think parents are worried about the impact COVID's had on our children's education. Uh, are you concerned about basically a new school year and how you make sure that kids make up for lost time in the classroom? With Phil Murphy as our governor, I'm very, very concerned because of his cozy and conflicted relationship with the teachers' union leadership. Um, he's shown no leadership on this issue in terms of getting our children back in school, and he should be doing everything possible with the Joe Biden money that's been given to him to ensure that our school districts will be open come September. I would be guaranteeing it. So New Jersey obviously has a reputation as being a blue state, but is known for electing Republican governors. Would help from the last Republican governor, Chris Christie, be beneficial in getting you across the finish line? Hey, Mike, we're in it to win it, which means you take help from wherever you think it can be beneficial. So I'll be working very hard over the next five months taking our message to the people of New Jersey. We're not going to be outworked, and come November, I don't think we're going to be outvoted. Now, my friend Jackie and I were talking about inflation earlier in the show. As a small business guy, how concerned are you about inflation, and what do you see as the root causes? Well, I'm very concerned about inflation, but I'm more concerned about our economy getting open here in New Jersey. He has shut down too much for too long and has no feel whatsoever for New Jersey's Main Street business climate. It's really small business that drives the New Jersey economy, and he has no appreciation for it. One out of three small businesses have shut their doors forever in New Jersey. Mom and pop shops that were in families for decades and more than one half owned by women and minorities. We've got to get business open again. If you're closed, inflation doesn't matter. Jack Cetarelli, the great state of New Jersey, Republican nominee for governor. Congratulations on winning the nomination. Even though you're a Seton Hall guy, um, wish you well down the stretch. <laughs> Mike, thanks very, very much, buddy. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks so much for your time.